Hey guys, welcome to the video. It is Thursday and we are doing another Which is Best? Picture the scene. You're out and about, you're on the move, you're maybe with family, doing some shopping, something like that, and you're either feeling hungry or you need a snack to try and hit those macro numbers. You're in a shop, you're faced with a myriad of different snack options. Which one do you pick? Do you go for something protein based? Do you go for a Kit Kat, a Twix, a chocolate bar? Um, what is the decision process that you should go through? Well, to kick things off, the main thing that you need to consider is calories. So hitting your calorie number for the day is your most important thing. After that, it's protein. And then after that, you can balance your carbs and fat depending on whatever suits you or whatever suits the kind of day you're having. That is totally flexible. So in the scenario where you're sort of rushing around town trying to look for a snack, then the right snack depends on what situation you are in. So it may be that you're looking for the lowest calorie snack because you haven't got many calories to play with that particular day. So you want to look for the, the lowest calorie option. It may be that you are looking for a hit of protein because you know that you haven't had much protein for the day and the meals that you've got planned for the rest of the day or the restaurant you're going to, you're probably not going to get the protein that you need. So you want that hit of protein to bring you up to your numbers. Or it may be that you're just simply looking for something tasty to eat. And that's a whole different ball game and a whole different story. So to illustrate this picture, I've got four different snack choices for you. And I've tried to go for a bit of variety so you can kind of get a, a broad idea of, of what the decision kind of process should be. So. We've got to start with a PhD diet whey protein bar. Um, delicious high protein, low sugar bar with CLA, flaxseed and L-carnitine, which has then got body sculpt, 25 grams of protein, 0.7 grams of sugar. Targeted obviously at fitness type people and the premise that diet, whey protein, this is gonna be a good option for you if you're in a calorie deficit and looking to lose weight and fat but you're fitness minded that's kind of targeted at you we've then got on another sort of protein vibe protein bites from graze these are four honey and seed oat squares now you can see from the box that it's also this little natural cardboard there's pictures of seeds and flowers everywhere um, we make good exciting is a slogan on the back. They labor to the actual ingredients themselves being pumpkin seeds, sunflowers, linseeds, etc., etc., etc. The general packaging is aimed at this sort of natural snack and therefore natural is good, plus it's protein, therefore it's a double whammy. It's the most awesome snack going. You should have this one. We've then got one of my personal favorites is dark 85% cocoa, green and blacks, organic chocolate. Now this is obviously, there's not much in terms of marketing to you in terms of ingredients and there's no sort of protein message on here. It does say that it's organic, so therefore they're sort of saying that organic chocolate is better than any other chocolate. Um, but effectively that is just chocolate no sort of fancy marketing per se on that particular one. Particularly anyway, not any fancy marketing targeted at those trying to lose weight and body fat at least. And then we've got the big one, everybody's favorite. And even if you, you say it's not your favorite, I know deep down it probably is. Oreo Originals. So Oreo Originals are in the bracket whereby if you were looking for a particular snack, more often than not, most people would say that is a bad choice. They look at it, they think cookie, they think 
ch they think chocolate, they think fat, they think sugar, therefore Oreo, bad choice, back of the queue, uh-uh. Maybe if I'm looking to, you know, cave in for a treat, then the Oreos come out, but not when I'm uh, on the fly looking for a snack. So let's go back to our scenario where you're looking for uh, this snack option while you're out and about. Now, if your option that you're looking for is to hit the lowest calorie number possible, then in terms of the serving sizes that the each one provides, what do you think would be the best option to go for? What did you choose? Well, if you chose green and blacks organic chocolate, you would be 100% Right. This actually is the lowest calorie option, coming in at 125 calories per six pieces, which is their recommended serving. That is 1.9 grams of protein, 4.5 grams of carbs, and 10.5 grams of fat. So it is, in terms of macros, quite heavy on the fat. So calorie-wise, if that's all that you're interested in, that's the baby to go for. Obviously, if you then break that down and come down a level and you're looking at macros, it might not be that great because it's carrying a lot of fat, which you might not have much fat left in your macros, depending on where you are in the day. But for a snack, it kind of doesn't matter if you're just hitting that calorie number. Remember, that calorie number is the most important thing and the macros come in second. So calorie-wise, that is your option. In terms of the worst choice for calories, what would you think your option would be? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, so if you said Oreos as the worst choice in terms of calories, you would be 100% wrong. Oreos are not that bad in terms of calories. Obviously, the macros on them will matter and they will dictate the decision that you end up making. But in terms of pure calories, they're not actually that much worse, or they're not worse in, at all than some of the others. So these carry for three cookies, which puts you at about 33 grams. Um, you are getting 159 calories, 1.5 grams of protein, 22.8 grams of carbs, and 6.6 .6 grams of fat. So it is quite heavy on the carbs, so in terms of your macros, if you haven't got many to play with, again, might not be the greatest option, but again, remember it's calories that are most important. So as long as you're hitting that calorie number, if you've got slightly more carbs, slightly less fat than you originally planned, it doesn't matter. Hit that calorie number. After that, protein is the most important thing. After that, carbs and fat are 100% flexible. So Oreos, not that bad. So the worst option in terms of, well, I say the worst option, but if you are looking for the lowest calorie option, then the highest calorie option would have been the PhD diet whey protein bar. Now that's interesting to me because a lot of people that I speak to think that because it's sort of very much targeted at fitness people that it has to be good for you. It has to be good for you, therefore it's almost a freebie. You can have this and not even worry about the calorie content because it, it's diet whey, it's, it's protein, it's, it's got CLA, it's got this, that and the other. It, it's, it's a freebie. Well actually, freebies don't exist in the world of a calorie deficit. So this has got 177 calories per bar. Now granted, the actual serving size is much bigger than some of the others. So it's pretty much double the, in terms of weight, the chocolate. So in terms of the calories, um, say per 100 grams, this is actually gonna come out better than, than some of the others. But in terms of what you buy on the shelf and the serving size they offer you, then this is the highest calorie option. But on the flip side of that, if you are looking for that protein hit, then this is gonna be a very good option because it has 25 grams of protein in it, which out trumps pretty much all of the other bars that we've got on display. 
So again, calories number one, it's got a high calorie content in comparison. Uh, but if you're looking for macros, then this might be your better option. So then that leaves us with the Graze Protein Bites. Now, as you might have seen from my video yesterday, I'm not the biggest fan of people, or I say people, of marketing companies just plastering protein on a box and therefore intimating that this is somehow the best option possible. And again, it's got natural ingredients, so therefore it is healthy. Therefore, this is definitely the one you should pick. It's healthy, it's natural, it's got a cardboard box, it says protein, come on, come on. This is just a simple choice, people. But, the reality is that, in my opinion, this is not even a protein food of um, any description. Obviously, it's got protein in it. Um, from You got some protein from the oats and from the seeds and the other things that they put into it. But to call it a protein food, no, it just doesn't cut it with me, to be honest. So we're looking at 140 calories per one of these squares. And that's going to carry with it four and a half grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs and eight grams of fat. OK, so if we're saying this is a protein bite, then it's almost got double the amount of fat that it has protein. And it's also more or less got almost triple the amount of carbs as it has protein. Therefore, to me, it's a carbon fat bite, carbon fat bite. Now that doesn't sell well because in people's minds is that carbs are bad, that's bad. Fat, fat makes you fat. So therefore, that is a bad marketing message to say carbon fat bites. So they say it's a protein bite um, because it's probably got two gram more protein than any other bite they do and therefore they can call it a protein bite. But to me, again, it's not a great option. If you're looking for, if you like the taste of them, that's a whole different story. But if you're looking for protein, maybe it's not the best choice. And it probably, well, it's not probably, it's damn more expensive than the others. This has actually cost me, um, I think it was uh, five times as much as the Oreos. Uh, so for four of these, this packet of Oreos, five times as much. It was 50p more expensive than the chocolate. And I think it was about a pound more expensive than the protein bar. So. They're not cheap, and they're also not, in my opinion, always the great, uh, I probably wouldn't buy these and if I wasn't doing the video, to be honest. So there you have it. So that's what we're looking at in terms of these particular snacks. What you've got to remember is that it's all about the calorie number that you're looking for and where, which one of those fits into that calorie number and also that macro calculation or that macro number that you're trying to hit with protein being the most important. The other thing to bear in mind is that taste and enjoyment is a huge, huge, huge factor. So if you're looking for that snack and you know you've got say, I know 150, 200 grams to play with in terms of calories, you're not really that fussed about macros because you're pretty much there or thereabouts, then you just want taste. Any one of these options would be absolutely 100% fine. So if you wanted three Oreos, go for three Oreos. If you want some chocolate, go for chocolate. If you wanted a protein bite from Grey's because you like the taste, go for it. And if you wanted a protein bar because you like the taste of a brick that has got a very powdery texture, go for it. Um, it's up to you. Again, it's about the numbers and it's about hitting the calories and the protein in particular and the others after that. It's not about fancy marketing, fancy packaging, telling you it's got all these natural ingredients and therefore it's almost a freebie. That, I'm afraid, is never going to happen. So, I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, hit the like button, that would be awesome. I'd also love for you to put some comments in the comment section below of any foods that you're you maybe want comparing or any sort of questions that you aren't answering in a particular type of vlog or anything like that. Any questions you've got for me, whack them in the comments and then we can turn that into some sort of cool little video for you. But for now, even though I said it tastes like a brick and some powderedness, 
I know that I need to hit another 20 or so grams of protein, so I am gonna go for the diet whey protein, but that is gonna go, I think, I think my idea is I'm gonna melt this into some yogurt. That's gonna taste pretty good. Um, so I hope you found the video good today. I hope you found it enjoyable, and I'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. Peace out.